Hello everybody, welcome back to Animated Talk. I know it's been a while since I've done a DVD review, but honestly, it's just been really busy with uh, doing animation. That's what I've been focusing most of my attention on, so sorry that I've neglected this channel just a little bit. Today I'd like to talk about The Complete Windsor McKay. This is a DVD that's been around since the early 2000s, so it's been around for quite a while. It's part of the uh, Milestone Collection. This particular DVD set gives you all of Windsor McKay's existing films, including uh, the fragmented films of like Gertie on Tour, which are a little bit lesser known. And uh, of course, it also has a complete renditions of the most famous films that Windsor McKay did, which would be Gertie the Dinosaur and uh, Little Nemo in Slumberland and How a Mosquito Operates. So all of those films, and of course more, are on this DVD. Uh, they are in uh, fine prints. Honestly, I gotta say the the quality is not really above most of what you can find in like the Library of Congress. Um, however, some of these films really can't be found on the internet at all. So the fact that they are available here is pretty darn cool. And, uh, and they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty good when it comes to quality. Uh, so I, I think that they did a, a fine job putting this together. You can watch the films individually. You can watch them all together. You can also watch them with commentary uh, by John Kanemaker. Uh, John Kanemaker does a fine job with commentary telling you quite a bit about Windsor McKay, uh, giving you a lot of background of uh, his history, his process, and uh, the success versus not so much success of some of these films. Uh, Kingmaker does a really good job of putting his work into perspective. I also enjoy the fact that the commentary is also quite honest on some of the later films, which really critically are not that strong. Uh, he, he doesn't shy away from being critical of the films and uh, definitely he doesn't allow his obvious love for Windsor McKay to overcome uh, his critical eye. Uh, these films, I think, are just fascinating to watch. I gotta say, after, though, the sinking of the Lusitania, and forgive me, I, I probably mispronounced that, uh, but uh, after that film, honestly, it's kind of downhill for the most part. Uh, some of his later films are honestly just really not all that interesting to watch, even if you are a fan of animation history. They're just not the world's greatest films, if I'm just being perfectly honest. Uh, so uh, this is an interesting collection to watch for the entirety of his career, but it's also, I think, the second half of it gets a little boring just because the films aren't nearly as great. Uh, there is a documentary documentary uh, called Remembering Windsor McKay on here. Uh, it is a fine documentary, although it is definitely older and it's showing its age. It's from the 70s and the quality of the image is quite uh, denigrated at this point. However, it's still uh, useful to hear the information about Windsor McKay from somebody that worked with him. It's good to hear some anecdotes about what it was like to work with him. And so I think it is definitely worthwhile and I'm glad that it's on here. There's also a stills gallery, which I think does a really nice job of giving you a little bit of behind the scenes of, of uh, Windsor McKay. And it also just gives you some clean images of the films themselves. So in general, I think this is an excellent uh, DVD to pick up, especially if you are an animation fan. If you are not a huge animation history fan, you're probably not going to be all that interested beyond, let's say, Gertie the Dinosaur, which is, I think, his third film. Yeah. Um, so you're probably going to get bored, if I'm being honest. This is mainly for people that are really interested in animation history and want to tell other people about animation history and how it's developed over time. Still a great DVD, though, for really anyone. I would recommend it to anyone. I'm just saying, if, if it's not really a subject that you're super interested in, you're going to get bored. So, uh, by the way, this particular DVD, as far as I'm aware, has not been put to Blu-ray yet. So uh, definitely pick this up because uh, these films are getting older and uh, we want to make sure that we have clean copies of them. Uh, the internet isn't doing as great of a job, I think, as it could be in making sure that these films are kept pristine. So make sure that you get yourself a nice copy for, uh, uh, for future sake. Hopefully this uh, brings up some animated discussion amongst your friends, and hopefully you'll continue to come back for more DVD and animation discussion. Have a great day. Bye-bye.